No good. Hey man, watch your step. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's your boy Chris back with another video. About to hit chest and thighs. Just got off of work though. Me and my boy Shane about to get this work in. Yes, sir. Shane behind the camera. He don't want to be in the video. I said it's all right. Next time. <laughs> so I'm taking my pre right now, even though you're supposed to take that shit like 30 minutes before. But like I said, we just got off, so you got to get it how you live. And yeah, that's it, man. Basically in this video, y'all boys, I'm just gonna explain to you the workout that I'm doing today, or tonight, I should say. Biceps and chest, get inside, I'll explain it all to you. So basically, hopefully y'all can hear me over this music, but thankfully my mics will probably cancel out the music. All right, so, so far this is my, this is our third set, right? First, second, all right, this is our third set. This is my first working set. And after this, we'll probably do two more working sets, drop down to a drop set on the last set. So probably like five sets in total. And then we're going to hit biceps. We still haven't warmed up our biceps, but I'm probably going to do that after this set. So let's see how 315 moves and we're going to get at it. All right, baby, let's get it. Alright, that I have to do, fam. <sighs> Alright, so this is my second set of 315. Lately, 315 has been moving pretty easy for me when it comes to flat bench. You will never see me doing 315 on incline, probably until, I don't know. I don't even know if that's a goal of mine, but 315 has been moving pretty easy for me lately. Uh, for a good, like, 8 to 10 reps on a fresh day. So this is going to be my second set. I'm gonna do a drop set on this set, 315 to two plates to a plate and a quarter. And we're just gonna bang out as many as I can. And then we'll get into the next workout. You can take one off for me. That was a bad set, huh? That was a bad set. Only got like four, five. All right, 225 right here. Don't expect me to get too much coming down for 315. But we'll see how it feels. All right, take one off and add a 25. Huh? 25, yeah, yeah. All right, last set with the drop set. Last set with the drop set, Cody. God damn, man. All right, you can pause. All right, y'all boys. So when it comes to training chest, I always incorporate biceps only because I feel like getting a bicep pump will only complement 
your chest workouts or your chest exercises. I feel like when people do chest and triceps personally, in my opinion, that is a terrible duo only because when you're already hitting chest, your triceps are already getting work based off it being a compound movement with whatever it is you're doing. You're, you're chest pressing, which means you're involving your, your triceps. So I never like to really train chest and triceps and I rarely ever do. It's always back and triceps and chest and biceps. So right now I'm gonna get into some bicep curls. I'm gonna start light, warm up the biceps, get some blood flowing. And I'll probably go up to about 60 pounds and curl 60 pounds for probably as much as I can, you know? You know, uh, I'll probably go into more detail about the way that I train specifically after the video. But for right now, I'm just going to get the clips in and have you guys see the type of training that I'm doing when it comes to chest and biceps. By the way, chest and biceps is my favorite thing to work out by far, you know? So if I haven't already said that, let's get into it, baby. So basically right here was the first or second bicep curl set. But um, basically right here, man, I'm just trying to really control the weight. I was doing about 25 pounds. Like I said, control the weight. Just really have in mind that I'm contracting my bicep muscle and just trying to get all the blood into the muscle as much as possible. So therefore... This shit felt real, real good. You know, once you control the weight and you're just going at a certain pace and you feel every single rep, I feel like the set just can't get better than that. So your boy was just rocking about like 15 reps, I feel like. 15 sets for the warm up, baby. 15 sets, 15 reps, man. What the fuck? So I have a problem with really like cutting a lot of my shirts. So this shirt that you see on me, it was a long sleeve, but after like a couple wears, depending on the shirt, I will cut it at the quarter sleeve, you know, at the forearm. But um, this is probably like the second or third set. And uh, I think those are 35s or 40s that I picked up. Really just trying to get as much reps as possible. So yeah, just to remind you guys again, like for biceps or for a bicep movement, you're only really going up and down, right? So my advice to you is to really just control the weight, no matter what the weight is that you have in your hand and really just focus on that contraction, man, and squeeze. All right, this is gonna be the last set. All right, so after bicep curls, we moved over to this um, plate chest press. Uh, one of my favorite machines for chest period and uh just throw on three plates really to just do as much as i can when it comes to my training i really just go based off how i feel and no matter the reps or the sets like i said i just go based off how i feel Another bicep uh, movement that I like to do is attaching the rope to the cables and curling with the rope or bicep pulls, so to speak. And um, yeah, I just get a real good contraction while doing that instead of the dumbbells all the time. But um, y'all should try it for sure. Alright Cuddy, so right here we finished off with 
the Smith Machine incline chest press. Really to just continue to get that blood flow and really just pumping up the chest, man. Honestly, that's really all we were doing. Um, like I said, we were just going for as much reps as we could do until we felt tired. And we did that for about three sets. And your boy was beat, fam. Like, that was a good last three sets that I was doing, though. As you can tell, I was a little excited. So why I picked the Smith Machine for the last chest exercise is because the Smith Machine incline chest press keeps me in a very stable position to where I can just really focus on contracting my chest. Um, going at a moderate pace, really, just for as many reps as possible with the same weight. So we're not going up and we're not going down. You pick a weight and you kind of just rep it out like that and get a good squeeze, man. And then the last bicep workout um we chose to go back to dumbbell um what do you call them things dumbbell curls we decided to go back to dumbbell curls and i did two two final sets with the 40s i believe and kind of just did as much as possible now a lot of people may find it's a little annoying or crazy that i train instinctively and i kind of just go with what my body feels like but at the same time i'm not on a routine and i'm not training for a show or prepping for anything you know i'm just going in there i'm putting in the work and i'm getting gritty you know at the end of the day so that's how i train man So basically me and my boy just finished the back and bicep workout. We done did incline Smith machine, flat bench press. Come on, man, come on. We done did bicep curls with the straight bar and the dumbbells. We did chest flies, didn't record the chest flies though. And then what else did we do? I think that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was it. So as far as going into detail with this video, I'm gonna do that later once I get to the crib. I'm gonna make a meal so I'll show y'all what I eat after my workout. And that's it, man. Late night in the lab. And that's what it is, bro. So stay tuned for the next clip. And then I'll see y'all there, bro. All right, man, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I got home, bro. I drank my shake and I immediately passed out on my couch. So I'm not gonna be able to show you a meal. It's currently actually 3 a.m. and I just wanna kinda close out the video and just kinda upload it. So I hope you guys really do enjoy that chest and bicep workout. Um, I'm actually, this is going to be the first episode of a series that I chose to do. Um, the consistent series is what it's gonna be called. It's gonna be drop an episode every single week and just to challenge myself with being consistent on YouTube being consistent with my workouts and actually staying on track with my meals and my diet and just going through like my body change you know kind of just showing you guys what it kind of takes to be consistent or just taking you along my journey so i'm excited for that and to see how those type of videos turn out um i'm exhausted bro uh Thank you to everyone who, you know, subscribe and shows me love on, uh, you know, my social platforms and stuff like that. Um, Till next time, well...